Hey everyone, in this video we will be creating such type of uh, uh, card view implementation inside our Xamarin forms here at top you can see we have a tab bar and uh, it has a really nice animation so in order to implement that we will be installing one plugin that is named as card view so we will just uh, go to our shared project manage uh, nuket package here I will select the card view and then that's all we need to add it to our shared android and ios project so click on add package before that we'll just head towards the project and we'll just see the implementation details from the github link now let's go scroll down and then see uh, which is the uh, control that we are going to use so this is the tab control that i'm using but i'm remodifying the top bar so yeah you can uh, just uh, remodify of your own but uh, uh, I have redesigned as uh, my requirement for my application. So at first, we'll install the NuGet package that is card view. Then uh, here inside our uh, uh, official documentation, it is told that we have to add this line of code after form start in it. So you have to watch click carefully. If you add it over here, then there will be a crash. So you have to take this line of code and uh, put it inside your uh, form start in it uh, method after that only. Then let's go to the main activity.cs here also. You shouldn't add that uh, uh, card view renderer.preserv method over here. You need to add it after the form start in it or else it will crash. So here on our official website, it is told that we need to add this uh, uh, source code to our existing application main page. And uh, let's go to our uh, main page and you can just add it to any page as you like. Just uh, I'm just going to add uh, that line of code over here so that uh, we can call a list of items from our view model here we have three images inside our drawable folder of android and whereas on our ios 2 we have three images now it's time for bind those images and show it inside the card view and uh, here i have already written some line of code in order to uh, save my time so we basically have a very basic ui you can see we have a ios as well as an android uh, implementation of the margins from top and uh, here we have very simple uh, grid which is a just a bindable layout and it binds all the uh, box items from our ui so here we have just wrapped uh, the list of box equals to the list of items so here user story list is going to provide us the list of items and at top we'll just uh, generate five boxes for that five list of items from the ui so here i have added that box view that's why so a bindable layout uh, binds its item from the view model item source that is user story list that's all to tell about the bindable layout here you can see we have a control tab control uh, and which is wrapped inside the content view uh, and which is inside the uh, vertical option center and expand here uh, we are wrapping the label at the top of those box views too so we can just wrap the text too by binding uh, the uh, item source so here you can see it is referencing the cube uh, view that is our x reference cube and uh, here we'll just uh, add it uh, at top of the um, our uh, box view so here a cube view is our cards and i'll just remove that ff image because we don't want it as of now and now this cube is going to be referenced by our tab control that is at top and uh, which rotates on the basis of our cube view that is our card and you can see user story list is also binded with our uh, cube view this is just a causal view type of uh, view which is going to be display our uh, image so here the selection mode as story selected index and uh, what is the source for this uh, image is uh, binded by by a story image so i don't want that line of code i'm just going to delete it as of now so uh, we have two grids that's why I need to put another grid so that we have uh, all the opening braces as well as closing braces so here you can see we have just a cube view which is just like a causal view which display our list of images and uh, this has uh, the same uh, user story list as our top box view and uh, our center that is our uh, 
text is going to be binded to a, a top of the box view now uh, let's make this main page dot jamal binded to our uh, main page view model so i'm just going to create a new class as main page view model and then click on ok now we are going to add this main page view model and you can just use some csap dot uh, cs2 uh, it doesn't mean that you need to create a, a dot view model now uh, we are going to inherit this bindable object so that our uh, whole object refreshes whenever we get as well as add insert or delete the uh, item so here you can see uh, we have story selected index code that is whenever our uh, what is the index of our selected causal item or now we have successfully binded the user selected index now it's fairly easy to create a list of item in our view model so it contains a list of a model and uh, this model class we need to create a public property for those uh, um, model so i'll just create a new class for that model class so that we can create multiple objects for that user story list so here the property name might be public string and title so here i'll just create another property name as story image then we are going to create multiple objects for our uh, ui so here you can see i have created a new observable collection list which will add title as one two and three and the story image as cartoon one cartoon two and cartoon three so for our this ui that is our queue view or the causal view now let's run the application and test whether we have successfully generated uh, the running project nice so you can see we have got our as expected output we can uh, that contains bar at top and uh, which fluctuates whenever our uh, screen rotates inside our cube view so here uh, i can demodify to background color as black too so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials